Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Contest 248. Count good numbers. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I usually, uh, um, I usually go over problems during, you know, in my Discord channel after the contest. So if you are in, if you're a contest person and you're, you just love discussing it, uh, as soon as the contest ends, come check me out. Anyway, today's, uh, this problem is going to be count good numbers. So this one is actually a very basic-ish combinatorial problem. I'm not going to lie. If you watch me solve this live during the contest next, I actually uh, started doing this with um, dynamic programming because you can always do dynamic programming. But then I noticed that n is 10 to the 15 and it's going to be too small. Um, you can see that a lot of people did it really good. Wow, what? I don't... 13 seconds. I mean, that sounds about right, but maybe not. I don't know. Either way, that's a pretty impressive time. I did it in about three, four minutes, but I am really bad at math. But, and I had a wrong answer because I mixed up the even index and the odd index. In fact, I failed n equals to one, but I just didn't notice it because it's hard to pay attention sometimes because this was, yeah. So basically, the idea is that, okay, if you have a, a number of n digits, the digits don't all the digits are independent of each other, right? And if they're independent of each other, then the pattern is easy to do. Let's say n is even, right? Then you have, that's, you know, let's say we have six, six digits, but then, you know, but then you can now separate them to two parts, right? And the odd digits and the even digits. And of course, they're all both going to be n over two length each. Um, and then here, we go, okay, how many possible ways are there to do odd digits, right? Well, the odd digits are prime, so there are four numbers on each of them. So there are four possibilities, four possibilities, four possibilities, four possibilities. And the even numbers, there are five possibilities, so same thing, five, five, five. So this is just four to the third times five to the third. Mm, cannot type. So that's basically all the problem is. Um, you just have to figure this out. And then... If x n is odd, then you have the same thing, except for that odd digits, you actually have two of them. So you have four times four, and even you have five times five, and you each, uh, roughly. I mean, you can do the math. I, I'm, I'm confident that you're smart enough to figure this part out with the even and odd. Caveat is that I actually mixed it up during the contest, so my wrong answer was because I actually had the extra digit on the odd side because I thought the first I thought the first digit for some reason was index one, so it's odd. But I, like I said, I make I I didn't even pass the example, but I was just rushing it a little bit. But yeah, so that's basically the idea. And now you have this algorithm. There are a couple of ways you can do it. Or well, there's one idea. The way that you can do it in Python and even in Java and different languages, you can do this with mod, uh, something called mod pal. Um, and in Python, it's actually built in, so it's not explicit. But it, if you have to Google, Google something called mod pal. Basically, it's doing the uh, power of a number with respect to a mod. Um, and you can actually, in, in other languages like Java, C++, and so forth, I recommend that you you write this yourself. Um, the key thing to note is that this fits in a long and it doesn't overflow if you times it by four or five, which is the key part. Uh, to, give it, um, to give a 20 second overview of my power, it's just basically noticing that power of x to the n is equal to power of x n over two uh, squared, right? So once you realize this, and of course there's some, you have to do some math about odd digits and stuff like that. That's basically the idea. And with the mod part, it's just, um, this is true. So once you have all this in place, you just have to be careful and implementing it. To be honest, if you just do a quick Google, this is a concept that happens a lot. So I rec definitely recommend at least learning it. Um, but to be honest, uh, I mean, I, I, to be frank, I knew how to do it in other languages, but of course in Python, I also knew that th this is a library function, so you can just do it straight up. Um, that's basically all I have for this problem. And yeah, um, hmm. let me think about it first. So f first of all, you can actually simplify this a little bit um, because you can just actually, this is, 
you know, if this is odd, then this is actually going to be true for even as well. So you can actually simplify this by um, doing something like this. Uh, so that should be the code. Uh, but during my contest, I just didn't want to prove anything or think about anything. I just want to rush it, right? So that's why my code is a little bad. But the other thing is that, what's the complexity, right? Well, notice what I said here. Oh, I deleted the mod pile part. So notice what I had here with the mod pile. So notice that we divide n in half every time. So it's going to take log of n to to run the algorithm, right? So th that's the time complexity is log of n. But in this case, keep in mind that n contains say some um n contains some other number of bits. N contains log n of bits, right? So if if it contains log n of bits, the input size is log n, and therefore the complexity is log n. But that means that it is a linear time solution. Um, and in to that point, you can also say that it's linear space, but Mm, but yeah, um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. You can watch me solve it live during the contest next. Okay, that was just me being dumb. Uh. <sighs> okay, so I'm not gonna win this one. Ninety-eight people even got Q three already. So okay, on the prime. This one is straightforward, maybe. Yeah, this one should be good. Uh, I feel so dumb. Mm, no, that's not true. X in nature. Stop one. And inclusive. Okay, yeah. Mod, 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 probably. Yeah, I actually missed the mod. But, um, but, um, but it doesn't make sense otherwise. So, 10 to the 15. Huh. <clears throat> so you can't do a full loop. I, I actually miss that. But let's let's do it for pattern's sake. Oh no, okay. No, this is easier than that. It's just mod pow. This Okay, how do I do it? So if it's if this is a even digit, then that means that odd contribution. How many odd numbers are there? Let's do the odd first. Odd, then we have how many evens are there? Five even digits. And uh, Five numbers there four, so if it's even number, then I guess it's just the same number. Right? Nope. 
I even get the four by nope. Four, why is that? Oh whoops. I knew that. Okay. What? Did I misread the poem? It is one. Did I get the odd digits wrong? Oh my, I can't get anything right today. Odd digits are prime. Oh, it's odd digits starts at. Ugh, okay. I'm just very sloppy today. Uh, why am, oh my, I am sloppy today. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Uh, it was a tough contest, so hope, hope you did well. Uh, uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.